Okay, so this is Blair Bohm from Insider Iowa. I'm here with Kingsview Music. You just heard a few songs from them. And uh, I guess first and foremost, um, how'd you guys meet and why Kingsview Music? Well, we met, uh, Joe and I are brothers, so we, uh, we met a long time ago. Back <laughs> About at, 23 uh, years ago. 23 years ago. <laughs> And uh, Dan and Peter here, we met along the way. I, I roomed, uh, I was roommate with Dan in college, and uh, and Peter's from his hometown, and so uh, that, uh, that's kind of how we all know each other. And Kingsview is actually the name of the street that uh, Joe and I grew up on uh, at home, so that's, uh, that's how that came up. Okay. Yeah, uh, funny story how that came together. We, we <laughs> when Brian and I lived together, we would, we would just jam cover songs in his basement in his bedroom. We had the, the trap set and the guitars and everything all set up. And, and uh, we were trying to we started playing songs. We were like, well, we need a name. And so we somehow, we, the name Class Clowns came around. And so we were going to be called B. Hendy and the Class Clowns. I, pr I proposed that. <laughs> so B. Hendy and the Class Clowns. So we dropped the B. Hendy. And we actually signed up for Battle of the Bands as the Class Clowns. We have... We have ticket stubs from the Battle of the Bands that said the Class Clowns. But before we ever played a real show, we were like, it's probably not the name we want. We yeah. tell people what our name is, and they're just like, what, what's what? the Class Clowns? It has like, nothing to do with anything. It's a bad name. And so we kind of sat down and like, all right, we're going to come up with something else. Said, just yeah, something catchy. One or of those moments. Kind of, something something short short of. sweet. <laughs> yeah, Class Clowns is something we want to... Have forever. People like, take it like, more seriously. Like, Seems like a good idea. Sounds like a joke. So, you know, yeah. maybe, maybe the title of the first album. You know, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Hey, you know, speaking maybe. of the first maybe. album, maybe. 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 Yeah. Speaking of the first album, though, you, we have like three. Uh, we, we, we put two songs on here, drastically different sounds. You know, we got we got a loud party. We got emotional. You know, really good, really good music. What would you say your sound is? What what genre do you actually identify with? <laughs> what I are you? I don't know, the way I always, I don't always classify it. I make people listen to it and tell them what they think it is. Because I know it's hard. But we, I think we tell people alternative Grunge, grunge bubblegum, gangster, <laughs> pop, rap. No, but that's too yeah. long, so we put alternative <laughs> rock on. Yeah, one of the so. things we like to, we like to pride ourselves on is having a very, it's, it's the similar sound, but they're all very different, very unique songs. We don't, there are a lot of cookie cutter bands out there. The whole album sounds the exact same, so we want to be very... Unique. Each song has a purpose, and it drives a certain direction. Yeah, we've, we've been told we have a sound, but we feel like yeah. all our stuff sounds way different. So it must be good. At least there's some kind of theme. But we just say, when someone asks, I usually say alternative rock because that just seems to be the all-encompassing. Yeah. It, always seems, it always seems like every time we write a song, we're like, all right, this this one, it's a new one, but it sounds way different from anything else we have. And then but people tell us it all meshes together well, and yes. we have a sound. So yeah. That's that's definitely true, and you know, I guess Kingsview has all sounds in their in their. Um, <laughs> it's just noise. In their room. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, it's a nice way. Very well put together <laughs> noise. Just, um, okay, well, you guys are up here in the Twin Cities, which obviously has a really vibrant, growing music scene. You know, can you give me your perceptions on that? And you know, maybe you know how Kingsview fits into it. You know, I mean, one thing that's so awesome is there's live music like everywhere. Every night of the week, you can go to one of many different bars and they're playing live music. So it's really good for a band starting out when you have so many opportunities and places to play. Yeah, yeah definitely. Like there's 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 bars around like they want a lot of cover music too, but the nice thing about Minneapolis is that there's a lot of places that are willing to have original music and so that's kind of where we fit in. Like it seems like it's, it's always pretty available. Like if we want to if we want to have a show there's a lot of options around. So. Yeah. yeah, the first place we played actually didn't even hear any of our music before I just emailed him like, hey, we want to come play. And he's like, all right, sure. And that was it. <laughs> you know, he just let us play. Like, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. They uh, A lot of places are only originals. You can't you can't play covers. It's against the rules or they actually they're, uh, they, they penalize you for playing a, a cover. So it's very cool for startup local musicians. It's a really great scene. Like us. Like yeah. us. Yeah. And it helps we don't, we don't care too much about the money you know, starting out. So really... <laughs> Let's us kind of choose some places we play. We have we have jobs too, so we don't have to depend on it. But yeah, yeah. but uh, maybe someday. <laughs> okay, well, just as a I guess as a parting question for those those eager fans of Insider Sessions, um, might you have a date or a rough date when we can expect an album that everyone can buy or that we can? Well, right now, right now we're in the talks with some uh, uh, 
uh, studios right now, hopefully recording like five, six song EP that we're hoping to get some time booked pretty soon. So that would be maybe midsummer. Alright. July, yeah. maybe. Alright, so look for another goal. Look for Kingsview in twenty fourteen. You guys are right. on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we'll let you plug it all, okay? <laughs> like us on Facebook. Alright, this is uh Blair Bone with Insider Sessions here with Kingsview.